Prime Minister Gengop made these remarks at the Zambian High Commissioner's residence when he went to pay his respects by signing the Book of Condolence. Some of us we have in Zambia, so he was also our president. It's a person I knew personally, I worked with. So your loss is not only your loss, but our loss too. So accept our heartfelt condolences. President Michael Sata died last week Tuesday at the age of 77 at a London hospital after reportedly concealing a long illness. Sata came into power in 2011 when his patriotic front party defeated the movement for multi-party democracy that had been in power for two decades. As I was saying, it's a work of God. This time has come. All of us are going to be called back to home. So in this particular instance, this time has come. So we leave all in God's hands. Members of the public can also sign the Book of Condolence at the Zambian High Commission in Vinduk. The late Sata will be buried next week in Lusaka, Zambia. At the moment, Guy Scott, the country's vice president, who has made headlines for being the only white president Africa has seen in recent times, is in charge.